So, are you ready to become a podcaster on podcasts? Download the Anchor app. It's the easiest way to do podcasting and it's also free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's easy. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. Hey, 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 my wonderful and beautiful kids and queens. How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? I pray that each of you are having a blessed and safe day that your day is going well, it's prosperous, it's wonderful. And even if your day is not going so well, it might be a little rough this morning, it does not matter. If you under the sound of my voice, guess what? You blessed. You blessed. Okay? Because you done made it to a new day that was not promised to you. New evening, new night. Wherever you are in the world, you are a miracle. Okay? Because you are alive. You might feel you might be sick down in your body, but you're still here. You might be depressed, but you're still here. You might be robust and disgusted, but guess what? You still here. You still alive, and that's a blessing within itself. If this is your first time tuning into my podcast, my name is Candice Brown. I'm a certified life coach. I'm also a YouTuber, a podcaster. An author, and I am also a mother of two beautiful and wonderful children. And what I do, I do mindset coaching for women to help them to get that self love and that self confidence back. Or if you have never had self love and self confidence, I help you to get that. Because, ladies, let me tell you something if ain't nobody told you, I'm telling you, you are a queen, you are royalty, it is your birthright. I don't care what people have said about you. It does not matter about your past. It doesn't matter about your current circumstances, situations. You are a queen. It doesn't matter about the color of your skin, your age. It doesn't matter what your profession is. You are a queen, okay? You're a queen. If you ain't told yourself today you're a queen, get up and tell yourself you are a queen. Announce yourself. Say, good morning, queen. Every day I want you to wake up. Call yourself a queen. Say Queen Candy. Queen Lisa. That's your name. Because you are a queen. You belong to the most high God. Okay? Of a royal priesthood. You a king. King, same thing, y'all. You better get up and say you a king. King Arthur. Okay? King Blue, whatever your name is. You a king. This, this, come on now. Come on. This gonna help somebody today, y'all. Shift your mindset. Shift your mindset. Wake up every day with that king or queen mentality. Shift your mindset. Okay? Y'all, this is Car Chronicles. Y'all can probably tell that I'm in the car, going to work, back and forth to work, doing what I do. But I just want to come and tell somebody today, let somebody know, are you sowing? What and what are you sowing? Are you sowing good seeds? Are you sewing on photograph? What are you doing? And a lot of times when we say we're sewing, we be thinking about money. Y'all, you got to think outside the box. Stop putting everything inside of a box. Think outside the box. You might can't sew money, but you can sew a good word into somebody's life. Somebody needs to hear a good word from you. You got some word down on the inside of you. Somebody needs to hear words. And you might can't get outside the house right now, but guess what? If you sit up there holding that cell phone, you got a tool. It's what my mentor say. I love that video. Y'all go check out Latoya Kia. And she said, what's in your hand? What's in your hand? You better learn how to use what's in your hand, y'all. Learn how to use what's in your hand. Use that phone in your hand right now. And shoot you a YouTube video. Start you a podcast. You ain't just got to throw money into somebody's life. You can throw a word into their life. If you have money, that's good. Throw money to bless somebody. 
Every day I want you to get up and say, what can I do? How can I bless somebody today? Every day. Wake up with expectation, baby. You want to get to the next level in your life? You want to see an increase in your business? You want to see a change in your mindset? Find ways to bless somebody every day. It ain't got to be through money. You can go help somebody do something. Show gratitude every day. Be thankful for what you got. Be thankful. If you got a roof over your head, you got shoes on your feet. Be thankful. I'm sorry about that, honey. When you be doing a podcast and everything, you're trying to work in the car, everybody want to call. But I just want to come and tell y'all, sewing, what are you doing to sew each and every day? What are you doing to become a better you, y'all? Okay? you We, we be thinking about sewing as many. Yes, you sew many. Yes, you supposed to, but you supposed to sew a good word to somebody life. Be an encourage, encourage somebody today, y'all. You know, put put a scripture on your Facebook, okay? Put up a scripture. Send somebody a scripture in their text message. Okay, I have a friend. She sent me a word every day, and I thank God for that. Because sometimes that, that word resonates with me real good. That day it resonates with me every day. But on particular days, it resonates with me. It be just what I need, okay? Every day, find some, find some kind of way to bless somebody, Okay? Always show gratitude. Be thankful for the things that you have. Be thankful. Be thankful, y'all, because it could have been the other way around. That's why I say you better be grateful for life itself. I don't care if you living in a cardboard box or your car. You still here. Be grateful that you got life because somebody didn't wake up last night, okay? Don't sit here and be saying, oh, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got this. I ain't got that. You better look around and thank God for what you got because if you keep complaining about what you ain't got, how you going to expect to ever grow? How you going to expect to elevate? How you going to ever expect to move forward if you're always looking at what you ain't got? You can't look at what you ain't got. You got to look at what you have and be grateful for you have what you have because if you will be faithful over a little bit, God will bless you with a lot. Be faithful over the few so he can bless you abundantly. Come on now. But I just want to come and encourage y'all on that today. What are you sowing? Make sure you sowing good seeds. You sowing good words. Because whatever man sows, he shall reap. Make sure you are sowing good things. Don't be out here sowing bad things. Don't be out here complaining, fussing, arguing, bickering. Don't be out here trying to use people and abuse people. Talk about people. Throw that stuff in the trash. Throw that negativity out the window. All that negativity stuff, throw it out the window today. And flood your mind with positive things, positive thoughts. Okay, be around some positive people. They negative people, you know you got to leave them by the wayside, baby. You got to leave them this season. They got to go. They got to go. Okay? Be positive. Be positive. Always look for the good in everything, y'all. Look for the good in it. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It's some good in it. Because God going to take that and he going to use it for your purpose. He, uh, he can use your pain for purpose, y'all. He, he can do it. He do he doing it for me. He can do it for you. I don't care how bad your situation looking. God can take that situation and use it for a purpose. Come on now. And you got to know that your story is for somebody else. What you going through is not may not be for you. It's for somebody else. You got to know and believe that truly in your heart. You may be you going through this storm right now. This storm may not be for you. But God know you equipped. He know you the man or the woman for the job. He know you equipped to go through the storm. And when you come out victorious, you're going to be able to share your story. And it's going to free somebody. It's going to help somebody. Come on now. It's going to help somebody. So I just came to encourage y'all to make sure that you are sowing good seed, good word, doing good deeds, okay? Showing gratitude each and every day, y'all. What are you doing? Are you sowing good seeds? Are you sowing at all? Okay, that's the topic. What are you sowing? Are you sowing at all? Okay, I pray that each of you have a blessed and prosperous and wonderful day. This has been your certified life coach, Candice E. Brown, and I'll check it with you guys next time.